It's just you and me, buddy. It's a voicemail. Are you okay this for me? Yeah, let's get over there first. Kitty, 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 kitty. Here, put her food in here. All right, good job. You know what? You should probably we should probably put it on the table so the geese don't eat it. <laughs> you just dumped it on the table like dump. She's happy she gets her breakfast. This morning I had the pleasure of just taking my youngest down to do the chores. He's by far the most enthusiastic about this farm work. All of them will pitch in, but his heart is 100% in it. And with me. Okay. Good job. All right, I get to throw the rest in. Oop, can you go herd it back down here? All right, back up, back up a little. We got it. All right, chores are done. Wilder and I have had a great time down here together this morning. It just takes about 20 or 30 minutes. But he's helped out with every portion of it that I allowed him to. Did you help out this morning on the chores? Mm -hmm. All right, great work. We gotta get that cow back in the pasture and then take you back to the house so I can work down here. All righty, thanks for coming with me. I can't know that. All right, lift up this right here. Lift up this part here. Right here, I'm gonna touch it with my thumb. Lift that up. It's like a little trap door. Lift it all the way, there you go. You got it. All the way up. Now pull this one out. Pull the other, pull the big one out. Let me show you how to do it, okay? There you go, just like that. Come on. Come on. All right, we gotta take you back up to the house. You're right, we did a lot of work. He just said, we did a lot of work. I heard him. <laughs> He was my big helper. Oh, you're so squishy. Every morning he says, are you gonna go down to the homestead? I made banana bread instead. Banana bread? Yeah, you wanna see it? Yeah. Let's see. Look in there. Wanna see it? We'll have banana bread and potato soup for lunch. Sounds great. Love you guys, see ya. Bye, have a good day. See ya. My friend Gabe is over and he's helping in the house again today. We're listening to the inauguration on the radio and working. Earplugs, volume loud, it works pretty well for me. We're continuing to work on taking up the floors and trimming all the nails that held the flooring down. <laughs> That's really hard work. I started off cold and now I'm burning hot. <laughs> you guys
got that floor out. In high speed. Okay, we got this room. The floor torn out, we got the mess cleaned up. We still have nails to cut. It's moving forward, it's a good feeling. Where we're, it's time to eat lunch, I'm starved. Thanks for making a nice lunch. Yep. And dinner. Please. And dinner. That's one of my tricks. You just make a whole bunch at lunch or a whole bunch at dinner and you just eat it for a couple of meals. <laughs> He's got a drummer in him. He's I'm been drumming without sorry. stopping. You guys enthralled by this, by the inauguration? Yeah. Look, you're missing something. Look, wait. It shows a lot of people just walking around. Yeah, that's all that's happening at the moment. <laughs> they want a little more action. Some fireworks or something? We just did that room. And now we're going to work on this room. We're going to work on knocking out the rest of these wood floors. We may not get through it today. I have a, something in not too many hours. And I'm going to cut nails in here for a little bit. I made a decision today to actually not keep hardwood flooring. So it makes me sad. I love this floor, but I also don't think it's worth the work that it would take to carefully take it out, store it, carefully reinstall it, compared to the need for me just to prioritize actually getting things done. So it's kind of symbolic. What I do know is that in like five years, I won't think back and think, oh my gosh, you know, I regret losing that. What I'm going to be thinking is, it's really nice to be in a house. Last board! <laughs> You're rocking it! You blew right past that chimney. I was slowing down at the end. <laughs> wow. That's backbreaking. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't honestly expect to get through all that today. So that's a good thing. I wore it through my gloves. <laughs> yeah, I cut my finger pretty good on a nail. Fell on it, but it was the other side of a nail, not the pointed end. That was an awesome day. Knocking out some hard work. Very, very happy with making progress today. Bree and our oldest have gone to a church event and now we're going down to do the chores. They're walking down ahead of me and then we'll ride up together in the van. I really enjoy this evening routine of doing chores, morning and evening. It's really grounding. It's kind of a strange situation to be in, but I just have to say that house we're renting is the best situation that we could have ever gotten. Given the circumstances, it's just worked out amazingly well that we can come down here and do our chore routine, take care of our animals. I'm giving the goats some hay down here in the barn. They're still locked in here. In some ways it's probably better for their hooves because it's drier in here. It's so mucky out there. So we'll give them about half this bale and then I'll bring up some of this hay for the cows. They have a lot on the ground now. I'm just gonna give them a little extra to fix her tonight. Here you go, cow. Hey, you see that little spark right there? Yeah. I also honestly think it's really good for the kids to have this routine and get them out of the rental house because the rental house doesn't really have a lot of outdoor area for them to play. They can go in the woods, but it's all on other people's property. The house is on a pretty small lot. It makes me think how Bree and I have often said to each other, 
how thankful we are for this place. Now, of course, that doesn't mean you can't do a great job raising your kids, you know, in a in an apartment in a city or in a suburban setting. And in many ways, there's a lot of richness in those experiences as well. But we love it raising our kids out here. And I love that we get to still come down here, even though we're not technically living here. The kids come down here every single day. This morning, it was just Wilder, my baby, and I. And this evening, it's all of us except for Grace and Bree. But it's neat to see how much they love it down here. Even if sometimes they complain a little when I say, it's time to get ready to go down. As soon as they're out the door, they love it and they run down the hill and just immediately start into their games. Whether it's building a fire, yesterday they, had, they burned a fire and then put it out. Digging in the mulch pile, helping with the chores, chasing chickens, whatever it is. It's just a huge blessing, this whole situation now. Even though you could look at it and say, there's a lot of really hard aspects and there are, I feel like we're really blessed in it in so many ways. Come on guys, let's go. I didn't have a whole lot to do, just checking out all the animals. How many times did you sweep the kitchen floor? Six. Did I force you to? No. You wanted to sweep it? You wanted to get as clean as it's ever been? Mm -hmm. And how many times did you mop it? Once. Once? How many times did you vacuum? Once. <laughs> wow. He's better at cleaning than Mama. On your sixth time sweeping, there's still a little bit. <laughs> how many more times are you planning on sweeping the floor? Nothing less than perfection for him. He didn't get that from his mama. I mean, I keep things clean, but not that clean. <laughs> you keep finding stuff, buddy. How does that happen? It's like a magic trick. You're a magician. I want to know what is the difference between the nights where you guys get upset and don't want to clean the kitchen and the nights that y'all get excited about it and do your best. Hmm. What, what, how do we turn that switch on every day? <laughs> All right, that's all I've got. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <clears throat> You're not done yet? Yeah. Oh. Still cleaning. <laughs>